We got a brand new recipe with old crock cheese today. Carnitas mac and cheese, just like the carnitas burrito you get at your favorite burrito shop. It's aged cheddar from Australia. It's the cheese that bites back. We got chipotle and onion flavor that's gonna make your mac and cheese sing. I'm gonna show you how to make this two different ways, one in a bowl and the other in a burrito. Step one is to make a cheese sauce, so I'm gonna jump right on that and show you how to do it. Grab these out of the oven. They're steaming hot. I can't believe how creamy that cheese is getting in here. I haven't had such a, a smooth sauce on a mac and cheese in a long time, and it really is because of that cheese. It's a great, easy recipe to make for a bunch of people. You don't have to make it in these fancy little bowls. Do a, a big tray of it and, you know, serve it to your friends when you're having a party. The sauce is like luxurious and flavorful and so creamy. I'm sure mac and cheese burritos exist, but I don't know how I've never had one before because this is so good. Like normally the cheese in a burrito is just kind of there in the background, part of all the different flavors that are going on. But when you fill it with so much mac and cheese instead of the rice, the, the cheese itself becomes the star of this burrito really. But you know, it's really up to you which way you prefer to serve it. You know, for a nice dinner, Put it in the bowl. A lunch with friends, make some of these burritos for sure. I'm trying not to take such big bites so I can talk, but it's so good that I can't stop. That's an outtake right there. <laughs> 